Hello everyone, so this is the second of my more recent shorts that I'm posting to this channel. I had a lot of fun shooting this one. Captain America Shield is my favorite weapon in the MCU, so I'll probably end up doing another video for the channel featuring Captain America Shield some at some point down the line. But for this video, I got the idea from watching Captain America the First Avenger. The further you get into that movie, the less and less he relies on his sidearm, and the more he relies on hand-to-hand -hand combat and throwing his shield. And I really wanted to get that vibe into this short. As far as the choreography goes, I try to keep it as simple as I could could and to help with like the cinematography and the choreography I ended up placing beanbags all over the yard and planning out where all the holograms were going to be so no matter where I pointed the camera I knew all right holograms going to point up there and it also helped me with performing the choreography because it gave me a place to point my gun and it gave me a place to, to strike while I was um, using Captain America's shield. For the pistol, I ended up going with an airsoft gun, a spring-loaded one, not the gas powered one with the actual physical blowback. Didn't have the budget for that, so I ended up having to animate the slide in post, going frame by frame, adding some blurs here and there. And it's a it's a simple effect when it gets down to it. It's just time consuming. And for the Captain America shield, I found this tan shield. It, it is this physical shield that you can buy, but I ended up having to paint it myself. And I'm not a prop master, and I ended up like fudging the paint job a bit here and there. So I ended up going with the battle damage, like the battle worn ones to hide my mistakes. And you don't really get a really big close up on a shield except for one shot. And if I was to do it again, I would definitely follow a couple more like guidelines and like painting like tutorials that I find online with like punish props and things like that. As far as updating the effects, the only ones that I did go back and touch up on were the hologram effects. And when I originally did this short, I had to create the holograms from scratch with a combination of Photoshop and After Effects. And they turned out all right, but they didn't feel like they belonged in the shot, in my opinion. They felt a little too clean. So what I ended up doing was going back with Red Giant Universe's Hollow Matrix just to dirty up the holograms a bit with a little bit more noise and flicker and you can see the scan lines in these ones. And I think that it just makes it feel a little bit more believable, a little bit more real because sometimes when I look at effects that I do and they don't look right, it's because they look too clean. So really what I was going back and doing for the holograms at least was just dirtying them up a bit. And for the entire short, I shot this handheld on a shoulder rig, which means there's no lockdown shots in this entire short and I had to go back with all the hologram shots, especially with one with like a, a CG shield. I had to go back and track all of those, which is like 80% of the shots. And I used anything I can think of to track the shots. So I used in the built-in After Effects 2D and 3D tracking. I tracked some of the shots with Mocha AE. And for the more complicated shots, especially the ones with the digital shield, I ended up using PF track just to make sure everything was aligned properly and make sure that everything was set up in the digital space to make sure that the shield looked as real as possible. The shield throw ended up being one of the more easier effects to pull off, ironically. For the shot of me throwing the shield towards the camera, I shot a shot of me with and without the shield and stitched them together in post. For the shot of the shield bouncing off the hologram, I ended up with using Blender 3D and their physics simulator. And I did it that way because I didn't want to mess with the logistics of me catching either the physical or a CG shield and have it make it look convincing. And it just made less shots for me to work on, less shots to render out. And it made sense narratively too. It didn't wouldn't make sense to have some Joe Schmo pick up the shield and have it thrown perfectly and come back to him. So it, it's just this happy little medium that less work in post and made sense for the story. As far as changes go, I talked about updating the uh, holograms with Hollow Matrix, but the biggest thing I would change is that I would not shoot this in the middle of summer. I have no idea what I was thinking. And I live in Florida, and the Florida heat was just unbearable. You could see it in a couple of shots of me like just dripping sweat. And also with the clouds rolling over and changing the lighting dramatically. And I don't know if it was like laziness or ignorance, but I, I, I think I just wanted to get this short over with and get back into the AC. But if I can do this again, I would plan a better time to do this outside and try not to have it be so hot just because again, it was just so exhausting to do it in that weather. But that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and share. Consider following me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and be uploading more of my shorts in the near future. And be sure to hit the bell icon to be notified when a new video goes up. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.